In 2022, LeBron James became the first active NBA player to reach billionaire status. He's made about $480 million on the court, but what business moves has he made to skyrocket his net worth to over $1.2 billion? Welcome to FOS Explains. In this video, we're exploring the story behind LeBron James and his diverse business empire. Now, when you talk about LeBron's business empire, you really have to talk about Nike. After all, it was his first big deal. Let's go back to the year 2003. We have a young LeBron James that is a national sensation. 18 years old, coming out of high school, and dubbed the chosen one. Everyone knew he was going to become the next big thing in the NBA. So, Nike, Adidas, and Reebok were all trying to sign him to a shoe deal. Reebok was the first, making an aggressive offer, putting a $115 million deal on the table. They were willing to pay more up front than anyone else. But LeBron walked away. Adidas, which was gaining traction in basketball, offered him $60 million, but their proposal lacked the long-term vision he was looking for. Nike, on the other hand, offered LeBron a $90 million deal over seven years. And while it wasn't the largest offer, what set Nike apart was their track record of turning athletes into global icons. They pitched LeBron on a partnership that went beyond the paycheck, offering him the opportunity to build his own brand, develop a signature shoe line, and grow with the company over time. Nike's vision aligned perfectly with LeBron's own ambition of becoming a global business force, not just a star athlete. And over the years, LeBron didn't just develop a signature shoe line, he built out a full-fledged brand within the Nike ecosystem. His LeBron James line evolved beyond basketball shoes, expanding into clothes, accessories, and even lifestyle products. And LeBron's signature shoes have consistently been among the best-selling basketball shoes in the world. A 2014 report from GQ said Nike made $300 million from the LeBron 11 alone. Beyond retail products, Nike positioned LeBron as a key figure in their marketing strategy, building global campaigns that showcase him not just as a player, but as a cultural icon. He's even been a part of Nike's social justice campaigns. This allowed him to connect with audiences far beyond basketball. His partnership with the brand solidified LeBron's standing as someone with the potential to influence sports, culture, and fashion for generations. And in 2015, LeBron inked a lifetime deal with Nike, reportedly valued at over $1 billion. It marked the first lifetime deal Nike had ever signed with an athlete and it solidified LeBron as one of the most marketable and influential people on the face of the earth. Beyond endorsements, LeBron also has a lot of investments, and he set the foundation for his business empire in 2006 when he founded LRMR Ventures. The name stands for the initials of LeBron and the childhood friends he co-founded the company with. LeBron, Rich Paul, Maverick Carter, and Randy Mims. LRMR has been a part of every one of LeBron's business moves since 2006. The company's main goal is to secure LeBron's influence in the business world, pushing for partnerships that offer equity rather than mere endorsements. They thought, why settle for a paycheck when you could have a piece of the company? In 2008, Dr. Dre and Beats approached LeBron with a proposal endorse Beats headphones, but instead of taking the typical endorsement money, LeBron and his team asked for equity in the company. Fast forward to 2014, Beats by Dre was acquired by Apple for $3 billion, and LeBron's small stake turned into a $30 million payday. LeBron did the same thing in the fast food space, walking away from an estimated $15 million endorsement deal with McDonald's to focus on his equity in Blaze Pizza. He reportedly invested less than $1 million in the pizza chain in 2012, and his equity grew to an estimated $40 million by 2023. LeBron has also taken equity in workout brands like Tonal and rideshare giant Lyft. LRMR also focused on leveraging LeBron's platform for social impact, aligning with brands that shared his commitment to community impact empowerment, and social justice. Through strategic investments and partnerships, the company helped LeBron launch initiatives like the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio, reflecting his dedication to education and uplifting the community. All right, it's no secret that LeBron wants to own an NBA team one day, but he already has ownership stakes in three major sports franchises. 
LRMR helped LeBron James purchase a 2% stake in Liverpool Football Club back in 2011. Liverpool was valued at about 500 million at the time, and LeBron reportedly purchased the stake for 6.5 million. But over the years, that investment paid off big time. Even before winning its Premier League title in 2020, James' stake was estimated to be worth roughly 43.6 million. And in 2021, Maverick Carter and LeBron traded in his Liverpool ownership for a nearly 1% stake in the team team's now sole owner, Fenway Sports Group. The duo became the group's first black partners, and becoming a partner in FSG gave LeBron partial ownership of Liverpool, the Boston Red Sox, and the Pittsburgh Penguins, among all the other things that the group owns. Forbes estimates that James' stake in FSG was worth $90 million by 2022. These moves did two things for LeBron. One, it expanded his reach globally. By tying himself to an international soccer team and other major sports, LeBron's brand reached new markets across the globe. All of a sudden, LeBron wasn't just an American sports star, he was an international business figure. And then two, it gave him another investment with high growth potential. As the value of the Red Sox, Liverpool, and the Penguins increases, so does LeBron's net worth. So that reportedly $6.5 million investment in Liverpool turned out to be one of the smartest moves of LeBron's business career, netting him an estimated $83 million and counting. Media is a big part of LeBron's goal to amplify diverse stories and create a lasting legacy beyond basketball. His Spring Hill company is at the center of that mission. In 2020, he and Maverick Carter combined three of their companies to create one big media company. It combined Uninterrupted, his athlete empowerment media and consumer product company, Spring Hill Entertainment, LeBron's film and television production company, and The Robot Company, a brand and culture agency. His Spring Hill Company is LeBron's passion brought to life ownership of his own story, not just in the sports world, but in storytelling. It's named after the Akron housing complex where LeBron grew up, and the company's mission is to amplify diverse stories and empower minority voices. One of the largest projects produced by Spring Hill to date has been Space Jam, A New Legacy. It's a big blockbuster movie that starred LeBron himself, and over the years, Spring Hill has also produced TV shows, digital media, and even documentaries. The company is all about breaking the traditional mold of entertainment. Some of the more impactful shows to have emerged from the production company include this Netflix series called Self Made, inspired by the life of Madam C.J. Walker. The show detailed the life of America's first self-made black millionaire. Today, Spring Hill Company is valued at close to $725 million. And while LeBron has had to shell out a big chunk of that equity to help it grow, it's still a big win for him. But it's also about the influence. LeBron has always been about creating a lasting legacy down the line and the Spring Hill Company gives him a platform to do that far beyond his playing days. Spring Hill is not just about cashing in on his fame, this is about building something that he hopes can last and make an impact. LeBron James isn't just investing in businesses, he's also heavy in real estate. Over the years, he's quietly put together an impressive real estate portfolio, owning multi-million dollar homes in some of the country's most exclusive neighborhoods. His most famous is his $23 million mansion in Brentwood, Los Angeles. The mansion is 15,846 square feet, including a movie theater, wine cellar, and a private basketball court. For LeBron, living in LA isn't just about playing for the Lakers, it also places him in the heart of the entertainment industry, where his Spring Hill company operates. In 2020, LeBron added a $36.8 million Beverly Hills estate to his collection. Previously owned by other celebrities, the house boasts several guest homes, a screening room, and a private tennis court. And then there's the property in Ohio. He owns a $9.2 million estate in Akron, where he grew up. It features a custom-built mansion where LeBron can get a bit farther from the public eye. Being a more long-term investment, real estate is the perfect cherry on top of LeBron's diverse business empire that seems to value ownership and equity over a quick check. But which LeBron's investments are you most surprised by? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to like and subscribe for more on the business of sports. Thanks for watching.